if the line x minus 4y minus 6 equals to 0 is the perpendicular bisector of the line segment PQ and the coordinates of P are 1, 3, find the coordinates of Q. Now we first draw the picture P 1, 3, Q, let x1, y1 and this is the line segment which is the now this line is the perpendicular bisector of this line segment let O be the foot of the perpendicular. <coughs> to solve this problem at first we have to determine the equation of this line. Now we by another way the the slope of the line line segment PQ what is the process at first we write the equation in, in the form in the form of y equal to mx plus c y equals to mx plus c now y equals to 1 by 4 x minus 6 by 4 Hello, we rewrite the given equation x minus 4y minus 6 equal to 0 in the form y equal to mx plus c that is 1 by 4 is the slope of this line. Hence, the slope of the perpendicular that is equal to 1 by minus m that is equal to minus 1 by 1 by 4 that is equal to minus 4. Again this line must be passes through 1 3 hence equation of the line PQ what is the formula? y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 y minus y1 is equal to 3 is equal to m m means minus 4 minus 4 into x minus x1 or 4x plus y plus 4 is equal to minus 4 minus 1 plus 4 and plus 3 7 rewrite this equals to 2 and this is equal to 1. Now we have to determine the coordinates of O that is the point of intersection of 4x plus y equals to 7 and 
x minus 4y equals to 6. We multiply this by 4 and this by 1. Sixteen x plus four y twenty eight x minus four y is equal to six seventeen x equals to thirty four or x equals to two in from two. We can write 4 into 2 plus y equals to 7, y equals to minus 1. Hence, the coordinates of O, we can look equally, coordinates of O, that is the foot of the perpendicular equals to 2 minus 1. Now, since this is the perpendicular bisector of the line segment Q, hence we can say O is the midpoint of PQ, since, since O is the midpoint of PQ, then we let that the coordinates of Q be x1, y1, then x1 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to 2 or x1 equals to 2 into 2 minus 1. 4 minus 1 equals to 3 and y1 plus 3 by 2 is equal to minus 1 or y1 equals to minus 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 5. Hence, hence the coordinates of P equals to 3 minus 5 and this that is the answer. We can verify this answer which is correct or wrong since P lies on PQ if we put the point P on this equation, the P must satisfy the equation. We can check it 3 into 4, 12, 12 minus 5, 0, 7. Hence, P must lie, a Q must lie on this line segment PQ.